Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if your mouse cursor appears to be moving on its own. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing if you're using a wireless mouse, consider replacing the batteries. So they might have very low batteries, and that's certainly a potential reason for why it's not responding very well. So go ahead and replace those batteries and see if that resolves the problem. Something else we can take a look into as well, if you open up the search menu and type in control panel, best match should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to set your view by to large icons. And then you want to select the mouse. So go ahead and left click on that. Select the pointers tab. And you want to select where it says use default. And then once you've done that, select the pointer options tab here. If your pointer speed is turned all the way up to fast, you may want to consider slowing it down by dragging it more to the left here. I usually have it just right in the middle, which is what I would suggest you guys setting it as if it's for some reason set to be faster. So go ahead and move it down a little bit. And as well as enhanced pointer precision, you may want to consider unchecking that option as well. And then you would select apply and OK. And then one final thing on this page underneath visibility versus hide pointer while typing. This may be the cause of your problem. If you notice when you're typing, it's not showing your mouse pointer. You may want to uncheck that option and then you would select apply and OK. Again, a couple different settings to look at on this page here. And go ahead and, like I said, apply and OK. And if you're still having a problem, you can attempt to uninstall and then reinstall the mouse driver. So open up the search menu, type in device manager. Best result should come back with device manager. So go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the mice and other pointing device section. And then right click on your USB pointing device or if you have a different mouse in here, you may want to just right click and delete all of them. So right click and you want to select uninstall device. Go ahead and uninstall them here. So at this point, once your mouse stops working entirely, you would want to unplug it from the computer and then plug it back in and it should automatically begin downloading the drivers for it. If you have to reset your computer, like maybe you're using a touchpad, just power it off entirely. Just, just turn it off and then turn, when you turn it back on, it should automatically search for the drivers. I'm going to do it a little differently here. I'm going to tap Control-Alt-Delete and using the arrow keys on my keyboard, I'm actually going to go down to the power icon and I'm going to use my arrow keys to select shut down. And I'm going to use my arrow keys to go down to restart, and I'm going to hit enter. So I'm going to go ahead and restart my computer here. And there you go guys, now that you're back in Windows, the mouse cursor should be working and it should automatically download the drivers and hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.